Our climate is changing. There's a lot more heat in the atmosphere, and that's causing a couple of things. One of them, sea level rise. And sea level rise is caused by the melting of land glaciers and also the expansion, the physical expansion of the waters in the ocean. And so those two phenomena cause the sea levels to rise physically. For us, a concern in the fall is hurricanes uh, coming uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. And those events seem to be occurring uh, bigger. The categories are, are, are greater. With the, the ice melt and the water temperature from the oceans rising, it creates sort of this engine or fuel for these storms uh, and to, to, to fuel them and make them bigger and greater and, and more destructive. Now, every year, you can just turn on the news and you're going to see one big hurricane basically hit someone along the Atlantic coast from, you know, Florida right up to, uh, you know, Newfoundland. Sea level rise isn't uniform around the world. It's kind of a function of, you know, the geography, your exposure to wind and waves, and also is the land sinking. And we're expecting about 50 centimeters by 2050, 100 centimeters by 2100, and then another 100 centimeters, so two meters by 2200. We need to make room for the beach and the salt marshes to grow as sea levels expand over time. Some of the ways we can mitigate sea level rise is we can work with nature. So we can use things like salt marshes and, and green shores approaches to um, baffle that wave energy and protect people, but also protect this, this beautiful space that's rich with wildlife and environment, that, the reason that people live here. One of the most important values of salt marshes and all wetlands is that they act as a sponge on the landscape. So during storm surges or as we see increased sea level rise, they're able to absorb that extra wave action and that extra tidal action and extra ocean as it rises basically on our landscape. So the salt marshes really act as uh, a buffer against these, these changing tides and these changing times. We are experts in science, we use science-based decision making, and we're experts in conservation. And so we have a team of engineers and biologists that work together to manage water. We've been doing this since the last drought, so we're here to protect those natural solutions to climate change. The science is clear. We need to do something because this is where we live, and we've caused this problem. It's climate change, and we have to respond. And we all need to consider what is our role in, in adapting to climate change. The most important tool here is communication, and we need all to work together to come up to a solution. If we restore as much as we can of the coast to that natural salt marsh state, we've seen that it does work. And if we know something works, then we should just restore the landscape and let nature and let wetlands do their job in protecting us and our coastlines from sea level rise.